I have a sense that among us, there are a few of us that have been asking the Lord for signs of spring. And it seems to me that the, often what we can, it might it seem to us that what the Lord has been saying is that you seek a sign, but no sign will be given to you. But the reality is, is that so, spring is coming upon us. Signs are something that we as human beings look for. They are signs, we look to, for signs to speak about the reality of things. How many people in our, how many of us in our lives have said to the Lord, Lord, send me a sign that I should do this or this. Maybe it was when you were looking into your vocation. Lord, send me a sign that I should marry this person. Or Lord, send me, show me a sign that you want me to be your priest. But throughout our life, we are always looking for signs. We're, at, we're looking for signs from God to help us to know what we are meant to do. Send me a sign that I should say something to my child. Send me a sign that I should speak out about this, so this, injustice, this injustice that's happening. Signs are, are things that we look for to help us know what the reality is and to live in that reality. See, the role of signs is they're meant to communicate to, communicate to us realities. They tune us in. They draw into, uh, us into realities that aren't always picked up by our minds at first glance. And so signs help us enter into the reality that surrounds us. A week ago, for those of us who were able to attend Ash Wednesday, the priest or deacon, as they imposed ashes on our forehead, they said, repent and believe in the gospel. The sign of ashes on the forehead, it was a sign to us that we need to turn back to the Lord with our whole self. Because you and I know that there are parts of us that don't believe in the gospel. There are parts of us that remain darkened by our sins. There are parts of us that haven't been given over to the Lord yet. And so that sign of the a cross on our forehead is meant for us, is a sign to us that we are meant to draw fuller into the gospel. That we're meant to turn our whole self to the gospel. I think oftentimes we have maybe our brothers and sisters around us, or maybe even ourselves, we're, we're our kind of saying, Lord, I want to, I, I, you know, show me something more so that I can believe in you. Show me more so that I'll believe in what you've done. Or we're always looking for God to prove himself, to prove that the, tr the truth of his love. We're kind of, in some sense, we often test the Lord. But the reality is, is that God has already given us the sign that his love is true. All we have to do is look to the cross. It's on the cross that we see that God loves us. It's on the cross that we see that God has given us everything and wants everything for us. That is, he wants us to live with him in eternal happiness. So for us as Christians, the sign of the cross is a sign of our salvation. It's a sign that God's love is true and that God has gone to, the death, to death in order to show us that in order to allow us to, to, to participate in that love. The cross, you know, for us, we, we start the Mass with the cross, we finish the Mass with the blessing of the cross. Before we pray our prayers, we start with the cross. The cross for us is everything. But the cross isn't just some external symbol that we're meant to look at and, you know, and say, oh God, thank you for doing that. But the cross is also meant for us to see how our participation brought about that cross. That in, during this Lent, during our Lenten practices, during our fasting, prayer, and almsgiving, you and I are meant to see how we contributed to Christ going to the cross. That God is on the cross because of our sins. And so again, to us, the cross is not merely a sign of God's love for us, but it's a sign that our hearts need to be converted to that love. That you and I know our sins, that we're still sinners, and that we need to return back to God with our whole heart, whole mind, and whole being. See, the reality is, is that if we open our eyes and ears, we'll begin to recognize the beginning signs of spring all around us. The days are getting longer. Birds are chirping in the morning. There are weaker snowstorms. If you look at the trees, the buds are on the trees. Spring is around us. There are signs of spring around us. Similarly, the reality is, is that God does love us. and God has called us to eternal life. And in some sense, we need no signs, no more than other than the one that God has given us, the cross. But God has not stopped with that. He gives us the sacraments, which are signs to us of his love, in which he pours out his love for us. And so during this Lent, during this Mass, 
That as we see the sign, the sacrament, the sign of God's love for us, the sign by which God, we are, we are participating in God's divine life, if we open our minds, we'll see that we have already been given the sign that we need to know that God loves us. We would do well to live in that sign, to live as a people of the cross, to live as on our road to Calvary, to depend upon that cross so that we might join God in his eternal life.